Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is shilling test. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share this video or the videos on this channel to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. The first thing is, what is shilling test? You know, the shilling test is a medical procedure which is used to determine whether you are absorbing the vitamin B12 properly or not, you know. And your doctor may choose to order this result, test if uh, you have the vitamin B deficiency, B12 deficiency, you know, or like uh, pernicious anemia, you know. So in that case, your doctor will uh, uh, order this test, you know. Uh, which is known as shilling test and this test usually involves up to four stages uh, it also involves uh, analyzing your urine sample to help determine the cause of the vitamin um, deficiency you know and uh, your body uses the vitamin b12 to make uh, uh, red blood cells you know and anemia is a condition in which your body does not have enough healthy red blood cells to transport oxygen, you know, uh, to, your or, uh, to your organs, you know, and the tissues. And uh, the test is designed uh, to measure how well your body absorbs the vitamin B12 uh, from your digestive tract, you know. And the next thing is what, uh, why is this performed, you know, why do you need this test? Uh, you know, your doctor recommend this test uh, uh, if you have vitamin B12 deficiency, as I said earlier. And the test uh, can help them to determine whether your stomach is uh, producing like uh, uh, intrinsic factor, you know. So it is a type of uh, protein required for the vitamin B12 absorption, you know. So without it, your body uh, will be unable to absorb the uh, vitamin B12 uh, which results in uh, uh, like a pernicious anemia you know and uh, the next question is uh, how do the doctors uh, what's the procedure how do uh, the doctor perform this uh, uh, to prepare for this test you know well you cannot receive any like uh, uh, intramuscular injections of the vitamin B12 uh, uh, three days before your test, you know. And uh, you may drink water, you will need to avoid food for eight hours before the test. So eight hours fasting, you know, it's very important. And uh, you can then eat normally after the test as you like, you know. And the shilling test has the four stages. Uh, after you have taken enough supplements to restore a kind of a healthy level of vitamin B12 in your system, you know, your doctor may advise you to undergo the test. And uh, this takes several weeks, you know. And now in the stage one, uh, doctor will give you two doses of vitamin B12 supplements. And uh, the first dose will be the liquid form, uh, which will contain like a radio labeled dye that can be detected in your urine, you know. And uh, this uh, radio label uh, involves using a harmless radioactive element, you know, uh, to track a compound through your body, you know. And uh, in this case, your doctor tracks uh, the dose of the vitamin B12, and they can track where it goes and how fast it gets there, you know, it will be absorbed in the body, you know. And uh, the second dose uh, uh, is given as an injection, you know. Uh, which is a uh, one hour later, you know, and uh, these supplements also, uh, I mean, they are they are not enough to return your body's vitamin B12 to the healthy level, you know. Uh, however, they can be used to test your body's ability to absorb the vitamin B12. So, over the next twenty four hours, you will need to collect the urine samples, and you must then bring those samples to your doctor's office. Uh, so your rate of the vitamin B12 absorption can be tested, you know, and if the stage one results are abnormal, 
your doctor will perform in other tests you know and so and if they are uh, uh, you know so in the second stage uh, your doctor will give you an other oral sample of the radio labeled vitamin B12 and uh, along with the like uh, uh, intrinsic factor you know and this test will show whether lack of uh, like uh, that uh, uh, intrinsic factor is the reason for those uh, low level of vitamin B12 you know and you will collect a urine samples over the 24 hours again you know and deliver it to your doctor's office to see and, uh, to analyze those uh, samples you know and uh, if the results of this test are normal uh, it means that a lack of uh, uh, intrinsic uh, uh, sorry intrinsic uh, factor and you mostly likely you will have the pernicious uh, anemia you know and if the results are abnormal uh, your doctor will perform the third stage you know third test you know and uh, this test is done to see if the abnormal growth of bacteria is causing you uh, the low levels of the vitamin b12 you know and uh, before administering the another dose of the radio labeled vitamin b12 your doctor will uh, prescribe two week course of antibiotics you know and uh, if the results of this test are normal uh, uh, then which means that those bacteria were causing the uh, this pernicious anemia you know and they were the uh, resisting the absorption of the vitamin b12 uh, but if those uh, results are abnormal which means that uh, the abnidia, uh, it was not due to those bacteria you know so then it will be the stage 4 test you know now the, this test will show your doctor if the problems with the uh, the pancreas are causing the low uh, levels of the vitamin B12 you know and in this stage your doctor will give you three day course of uh, uh, pancreatic enzymes you know followed by the radio label dose of vitamin B12 and you will collect the urine samples over the 24 hours again you know so this way your doctor will be able to diagnose this uh, uh, the problems with the vitamin B12 deficiency you know so to rule out what is the cause of this uh, anemia or the poor levels of uh, vitamin B12. You know, the, thing is, the important things are how to collect the urine samples, you know. Now, for adults, uh, on day one, urinate into the toilet after waking up, you know. And uh, collect all of your urine in a clean container for the next 24 hours okay so on the day two urinate into the same container after getting up you know and uh, seal the container and label it with the name and the date you know and keep it refrigerated until you can return it to the doctor and uh, in case of the infants uh, you need to collect the 24 hour urine sample from your baby you know and uh, because it's hard to get the samples from the kids you know so wash the area around the baby's genitals you know and place the urine collection bag uh, on your baby and secure that adhesive tape you know so place a diaper then and covering in the, in the collecting bag you know and check your uh, baby regularly and uh, change the bag uh, each time it it's full of urine you know and drain the urine into the clean container after that you know and uh, then uh, use a new bag you know and deliver that container to the uh, doctor's office as uh, I said for the adult you know so this is how to contain the samples you know the next thing is uh, about the interpretation of the uh, results you know well if you have the vitamin B12 deficiency uh, your doctor may perform further tests to determine whether it's related to any of the following factors like uh, atrophic gastritis or celiac disease or Crohn's disease or Graves disease or bacterial overgrowth or alcoholism or medications you know and if you have normal test results uh, 
and uh, if you urinate 8 to 40 percent of the radio labeled uh, vitamin b12 you know within 24 hours so these are the normal results you know so abnormal results means that uh, uh, stage one and stage two uh, uh, normal stage two results indicate that uh, your stomach is unable to make that uh, like uh, uh, intrinsic factor you know and the abnormal stage one and the stage two results may indicate like uh, a pernicious anemia celiac disease liver disease boiler disease and uh, hypothyroidism and uh, abnormal stage uh, three results indicate that uh, uh, abnormal bacterial growth you know, is causing your level of vitamin b12 and the abnormal stage four results that the problem is with your pancreas or uh, causing you low levels of the vitamin b12 so these are the uh, how to interpret these results you know and the risk factors uh, in some cases it may be soreness at the site of the vitamin b12 injection you know or maybe redness at the site of injection you know and maybe mild nausea and lightheadedness there isn't any serious complication associated with this procedure thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website www.diseasesandtreatment.com Keep watching.